Spain. I'm delighted to say we have Larissa joining us for a chat. How are you, L- Larissa? Hi, really good evening and good evening to all the, of your listeners. I'm very well, thank you. Thank you very much for taking the time to join us. It's, um, oh. we spoke before, but I think you've been really busy since then. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, I'm getting busy, which is great. Um, full of new projects and ideas, it never stops. That's the way things go, and it kind of started from small, but kind of I can't really stop, and I have more and more interesting things going on. Hopefully it will go like that, I I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, you are passionate about the music, definitely. I am, really, yeah. I mean, who, the musicians will agree with me. Who was born a musician always be, will be a musician. You can't change it. That is, it's in the blood, that's it. That's it, and our genes. That's it. Now, that, that song that I just played, Long Time Coming, that was a collaboration with yourself and another great songwriter. B.G. Pollock. That was B.G. Pollock's song. Yeah, he's, he is, um, he's wrote some great songs recorded by great people and he's... Yeah, he did. You see, um, I, ha- I have a very uh, interesting story with B.G. I actually never met him. He, um, I was um, recording my, my own album, my own music two years ago and I nearly finished my album and he, he became my friend on Facebook and he sent me one of his songs asking me to try to sing it and said it's a country. I said, B.G., I don't sing country. And um, he said, well, would you try, please? So I I kind of, I started to, to sing it at home. I made a demo with piano and my voice. And I just realized that it's a beautiful song, beautiful story, beautiful melody. And yeah. it really suited me. So I recorded it. It was um, Only a Woman. That was the first song we, we done toge- we've done together. And it went, I released it as a single then and it went so well. That um, I realized that a kind of good branch. I'm branching well into this, into contemporary country singing. You know, like it's probably not that traditional, but it's very near country. And lots of people who already was listening to my music, they were into country as well. So it's kind of worked very well for me. But DJ is a very, very good songwriter. That's it. We are, you're, you have that niche. I think to yourself in the country, it it is. Um, Listen to by country fans, but you're kind of making it your own with your own style. I suppose that's the cross between the um, the classical approach and you've a nice little unusual mix. That's it. Well, you see, I can't really help it. Really, I am crossover because in all in all kind of um, way, ways. You know, I, I am I'm Irish and Russian, which is first crossover already. So <laughs> I can't be really like everybody else. I'm different even this way. And um, then, yeah, I have a classical education, then I was uh, uh, writing my own music. But, you know, the auditory people who are listening to me, it's kind of the same. It's middle age, maybe in 40s, 50s people and older who like a a bit of classical, a bit of gospel music, country. So I do fit well with them, I realize, because I have a very good following now. Yes, I, I've seen you on Facebook. I'm an avid follower myself, and I know that it's getting popular for you and it's growing all the time. It does. It does. Thank God. It kind of was difficult from the start, but as everything else, you kind of have to. If you hopefully, if I, I do a good job and um, good quality music, um, people will listen to me. Most very very important. But I mean, people are amazing. Actually, I was amazed how good they are. It's so supportive. I mean, you, musicians, we are nothing without people who are listening to our music. It's very frustrating if you do, um, if you write and you sing and there is nobody to listen. So I'm really delighted with the results at this stage anyway. Yeah, there, there is a great supportive community in, in music all across all types of music, I feel. Yes. Because I think there's a, there's a nice bridge there with Facebook and YouTube and, it is. Yeah. Lo- lots of outlets, the internet, when you can reach to people in, well, like, really uh, far away from, far away from other countries. But Ireland is very good to me. I mean, um, I'm a long time in Ireland, 14 years, and um, I just so madly in love with this country, really. I must say, I'm really, really well settled. Yeah. I, I can't imagine myself to, to live anywhere else, because people are amazing here. Yeah, you've, you've, Taken to us like a duck to water. <laughs> really? I, I really yeah. am. I mean, it's, I, I can say, you know, when I just moved there, um, I kind of 
first, at first I found it unusual that Irish people so attached to their own country, even in the second and third generation, when they move abroad, they always want to come back and see, you know, that they're just so attached to it. Yeah, that's it. And, um, but I'm like that myself now. <laughs> that's it. I want to come back to Ireland, I don't want to leave at all. <laughs> you're one of us, as they say. <laughs> well, yeah. definitely 50-50 anyway. <laughs> and you're, you're pretty centrally located as well for gigs and travel, aren't you? You're kind of I'm very lucky this way, because um, it was a bit of a difficult transition for me, because I moved from big cosmopolitan Moscow into the countryside, into rural Ireland. I live on the farm. Uh, my husband has a farm and I involved in it. Um, I, I know a lot about country life now. And like at first it probably was a little bit of a shock for my system. But yeah. be because country is so small and I only I have so many towns around me and Dublin one hour drive and I'm just right in the middle of everything here. And I have both worlds and country and cities. That's so I'm really, sure. really like here. Yeah, you're... You're the envy of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? <laughs> no, no I keep saying, I keep joking that Ireland wants me here because it, it just put me in the right place. As soon as I move, to, they build the roads that I will be fine, you know, <laughs> very comfortable. That's it, and I th it's lending well to your songwriting as well. Yes, it does. It I mean, it, um, for a songwriter, it's a very nice place to live. Uh, when you live in the countryside, it, uh, I mean, all this na nature around me, it's really inspirational. Yeah, one of my favorite songs of yours is, um, it has to be, My Love is Like a River. Okay, thank you, really. I really, I love that one. Yeah, well, that probably, yeah, I, I must say, when I wrote this song, I, I felt that it was very Irish-inspired, even melody-wise. It was really, like, connected to the place where I live. Yeah, and there's a lovely blend of classic. There's a, a techni lot technically going on in the background there with the vocal. Do you feel that there is some classic in it, do you? I do. There's just some notes in it that they're really... I wouldn't make the height of them anyway. I know. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> for, no, it, it's a beautiful song. It would be one of my... that stands out to me, you know. Thank you, really, yeah. I, I, would you believe I actually didn't want to record it when I, I have it done? Because I felt that it's kind of a little bit too simple or something too easy. But when it was actually done, then we realized it, that McCune, my um, um, producer who recording everything for me, he, he was very impressed with the song too. You kind of never know when you write what is, go what is the uh, end result going to be until you actually do it and see it then. That's it. Until you go, you could have three or four different approaches in the studio. and it's That's it, yeah, a whole different way. Mm -hmm. The hard part of the job is deciding which way to go? <laughs> well, most of the times I kind of have an idea in my head already because I'm very good in computers and all the technical music stuff myself and I nearly have, I have all the kind of melodies in, in my head and I know what has to be, what instruments, I, I kind of, I, right. I'm very well aware of what has to be in my song. Right, so you have a, p a picture before you... You I do, in, yes, uh, I do, which makes it much easier. And then I sing all the backing vocals myself. So kind of, um, it works very well. I love to work in the studios, I must say, nearly sometimes even more than uh, public performances because it's very interesting, it's very creative job when you work together with other musicians and sound engineer kind of, you know, teamwork. Yeah, that is, you can get lost for hours in the studio. Yeah, I love it. I, 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 re I really do, especially if you get connected, you get right people with you, and it's a it's really cre creative process. Yeah, that's it. No, long may you keep asses, as they say. It's, um, have you any, I presume you have a busy Christmas, you have a few gigs? I had a gig, see, yeah, I actually nearly finished now, because I kind of try, try not to plan anything uh, too near Christmas. Because um, um, there is another business in the family, and I kind of involved in it as well, so kind of trying to do two things. Yes. But I had few very interesting gigs um, in Limerick and Dublin, and I um, released last year a Christmas song, which is kind of going well again this year. Yeah. I didn't expect uh, expect it, but uh, um, and I had two Christmas singles uh, in 2013 uh, in aid of 
charity um, Make a Wish and then next year 2014 another song last year for another charity but I, uh, both of them both both of, of these songs are on the radios now because I suppose I have much more exposure at this stage you know and I have nice videos done for them by the way just wanted to say to all the listeners that I have a YouTube channel and nearly all of my songs have a videos and like we put in a lot of into our videos as well trying to make it interesting for people to see and um, um, en enrich the music so if people just will put into search window Larissa Tormi Larissa L-A-R-I-S-S-A Tormi T-O-R-M-E-Y they will see my channel and there they can subscribe and maybe if they want to communi communicate with me they can add me as a friend on Facebook I'm always glad to see new people on my Facebook page as well. Very good. Yeah, I'll put that link as well with the with the YouTube link because all the interviews go on YouTube at the end. Thank you. Yeah, that would be great. Really, and thank you for having me on your show. Um, I just I just wanted to say that the support from DJs, DJs um, is enormous as well. It's really really good. They're so supportive every time. I like first song probably was a little bit of touching the water, you know, because <laughs> who is this girl from Russia? But right. with every new song, I'm kind of getting more and more plays, and kind of did just um, know that it's good enough music, and they're really, really good for me, to me, including yeah. yourself. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. No, I've seen it. You've made the, the National Airways on BBC during the week. Yes. Yes, BBC sent me, BBC Scotland, Scotland sent me a message that um, that song actually, which you just put it on, long time coming, uh, become, uh, they, they took it in their playlist, put it, it into their playlist, so BBC Scotland. That is it. Um, they played me before as well, my own music from my own album. Very good. Yeah, they were very complimentary. I saw the review, so fair play. Um, yeah, very nice. I suppose... We might get you on again pretty soon, hopefully. Yes, uh, thank you really so, so much for having me. You're very welcome. We, we really enjoy playing your tunes and we do get requests in. So we we will keep you informed with anything new that might come our way. Great. Thank and you so much. The best of luck to you and have a great Christmas out there. And you too, really. All, to all of your listeners, great Christmas, peace and love and everything the best. Great, great stuff. So we will talk to you again soon, and thanks a million, Larissa. Bye, Bye for now. Really.